Coming up on iPads in the Classroom, it's History Apps. Hi, my name is Guy Trainin and this is iPads in the Classroom from TechEdge and today we're going to talk about some history apps. And the first one I want to explore is actually one that really does a good job of uh, putting American history in a timeline and connecting students to more resources. And it's called US History Timeline and it is free. And what you get is you get just a running timeline, a very simple timeline with categories. So you've got to begin with before the colony and then age of the colonies uh, starting at 1633. And in every, almost every one of these dates, you can just click on that and then you get brief information about that period and you can connect to Wikipedia and get considerably more information so uh, and to get a very rich view of history in this case it's looking at New York City uh, and this is to uh, connect to the British taking away New Amsterdam and changing the name to New York you can take for example Georgia colony and you will hear quite a bit uh, about Georgia itself so Again, this, uh, this starts as a very simple layer of information, just a timeline, and through the navigation, you can actually go into layers of complexity about history, geography, etc. So this is called U.S. History Timeline. The next one I want to talk about is a fabulous app called To The Brink, and it explores uh, JFK and the Cuban Missile Crisis, just like it says. And what this app has done really, really well is incorporate, incorporate different sources, uh, photographs, quotes from that time, documents from that time, and short movies. So there's a short movie about the uh, crisis itself, their quotes, from our side, from the Soviet sides, lots of uh, documents. So you can, for example, go here to a gallery of uh, photographs exploring the missiles and everything that goes with them. And each thing has also a short explanation of what it is and how it connects. And so here, for example, we can look at documents. So this is uh, President Kennedy. And what you can see are actually the documents that are, were used in the room as decisions were made. This is a note uh, written uh, in handwriting and you can actually get a bigger view of that note. And here's an opportunity to actually explore and almost moment to moment interaction. So this is called To the Brink, uh, Exploring the Cuban Missile Crisis. Uh, the next one I want to talk about is another timeline one, and this is called Timeline Eons. And what Timeline Eons does is it looks at world history and even universal history with a clear timeline. So right now we have a timeline that zooms on a time very close to our own in 2013, but if you zoom the usual pinching uh, motion, you can start seeing larger and larger eras. So this is the beginning of the 21st century. And these are presidents, for example. You can see that as we zoom out, we see other eras. And if we wait a little, we will start seeing photographs show up. So this is actually looking at the last 500 years. And you can zoom up and down there and see See, the photos show up. And as you zoom in, you will see more artifacts from that era. And if you zoom out, so if we zoom in, you see there's a lot more detail. And if you zoom out, you see a lot less detail, depending on your timeline. And actually, this carries you beyond history. So if the usual timeline really takes us to history, this one easily takes us to prehistory. So you can see the Stone Age, the last glacial age, Neanderthals. You see a lot of artifacts show up there, but it actually goes to pre-human history back 
when uh, dinosaurs roam the earth and others and if you sign on you can actually get uh, events updated as they happen which was a question we thought about is to how much detail is actually going to show up in this app will be interesting to explore and also that as you zoom in on things it allows you to explore uh, beyond what is available at on this app to go to Wikipedia or to a Google search or to a Bing search. The last feature I want to say is you see, if you see this globe mark it actually takes you to those extra resources and allows you to explore them in detail. This is Eon's timeline and it's a fantastic way to explore history. The last app I want to share is a NPS, Fort Laramie, and this is an example of what historical sites that are limited in scope can do to share the wealth of information and ideas that they have from their slice of history. And in this case, it's not just Fort Laramie, although Fort Laramie is a, a paramount here, but it's diff a few different forts that uh, become uh, this area and you can explore it by period and for each period there's a short movie showing the site during that time so there's a short Google Earth movie with a mock-up of what the fort looked at that time and you can explore it in 3D but you can also go back and get a virtual uh, tour which has a narrator to it so you know what you're looking at you can look at historical buildings so uh, like we just did and you can look at written resources with them so a short explanation about the fort a short explanation of uh, its function and everything else the best thing would be to visit Fort Laramie but we can't take all students from everywhere to visit Fort Laramie so this is the next best thing being able to take a virtual tour of that site and get that the rich history of that site. So today we explored some more uh, history apps and we looked at the most global in uh, Eon's timeline and the ability to look at the whole history of the universe and be able to zoom in into our current uh, affairs and we looked at some smaller apps like the US timeline and eventually Fort Laramie which allows you to end to the brink which allow you to really explore a very short time period but in great detail with fantastic visuals and documents to go with it and we'll see you next time on iPads in the classroom.